Hi, this is David Arietta. Today I wanted to talk about two of the most common questions that my bankruptcy clients ask me. The first is, can I file bankruptcy and keep my house? And the second related question is, can I keep my car? So let's first talk about house exemptions in bankruptcy, particularly in California. In California, the legislature recently improve the exemption availability for prospective bankruptcy clients. If you own a single family residence, the exemption is as follows. A minimum of $300,000 and the maximum is $600,000. They do look at the countywide uh, median um, sales price. So that caps the amount, which means basically if you're in the Bay Area, uh, Alameda County, Contra Costa County and such, our uh, median sales prices are far above $600,000. So for all the counties in the Bay Area, you're going to get $600,000 as your exemption amount. If you go outside the Bay Area, you, your exemption amount may be reduced. So you have to take that in mind. Uh, it may be a little bit less than $600,000. Uh, so what is that number really? We take the uh, market value of the property, and then you subtract the mortgages, outstanding mortgages, first and second mortgages, that leaves you with the net equity. That is the amount that you can protect in a bankruptcy filing. Now onto your car. So clients also often ask, can you keep my car when I file bankruptcy? The answer most of the time is yes, uh, because you have to look at a couple different scenarios. First is if you lease the car, um, there's really no equity that we're exempting. As long as you make the payments, you can keep the car. If you have a, a car uh, loan, we look at the same type of analysis as the house. What's the car worth and what is the outstanding loan balance? If it's underwater or zero, we don't need to uh, apply a bankruptcy exemption for it. However, if there's equity in the vehicle, we have to uh, figure out what amount it is and then we, we have two sets of exemptions available for uh, dealing with car uh, equity. If we've pre previously taken the exemption on the house, we are limited to uh, approximately $3,300 for the car equity um, amount. However, if we um, did not use the homestead exemption, we have a lot more leeway. Um, we have a generous amount. We have our, actually $6,000 for vehicles and on top of that, we have what's called a wild card exemption of $31,000. So obviously you can exempt a lot more vehicles if you're not exempting home equity. So those that recaps the two most uh, common questions I get in regards to exemptions. There are a lot of other exemptions that could be applicable for a client situation. Give us a call at 925-472-8000 and we'd be happy to go over those with you.